Y'all want to see something cool? Wow. Does your desk do this? Mine does. I've got this thing here for light, but I've noticed that it's actually just making everything immediately worse. Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Let me just ask. This is a very jet thing to do, 100%. I've got a 600, oh, I don't know how much it is, $600 mic on a $30 stand. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> I'm moving this fucking light. I don't like it here. It's fucking good. How are we doing, gamers? I know, this is the amazing angle. I look very tall up here. Honestly, if I wanted to actually use this like this, this is not this is not the way to do it. The hundred percent. I think we go down a little bit. We go down a little bit. How are you all doing? Hey, it's me, Jet. I am currently in America and I'm going to be structuring this video a lot. You have no idea how much I'm going to be structuring this video. But this is the intro, so I gotta make this as it's an update video, is it? Like, who the fuck actually watches these, realistically? If you're watching this video, chances are you like me. Otherwise, you didn't click on the video, so I can take as fucking long as I want on this intro. Sorry, I swore God. Love you very much. Praise be to the one and only God, Jesus Christ. Hi, Jeff from the future here to let you know that this video is more in fact like a podcast in which, by all means, just listening to it will get you every bit of information that you need. However, for some reason, if you enjoy looking at my face, there are a few visual gags. But for all the information that is inside this video, you get all of it just by listening. So if you want to put your headphones in, go for a walk, have me on your second monitor, by all means, go ahead. This is my last update video that I'll ever be creating, and there is nothing else to say about that. It is just simply the fact of the matter is that I just hate update videos. To clarify, this is my one and only last one. I thought that was true. This is my last update video that is ever going on the channel. Now, why is this my last update video? And that just revolves around the fact that one, I just don't like update videos very much. And when I say I don't like them, I do like them. I think they're actually a very good way to get out what's going on in my life to all of my fans and all the people that like me. And when I say fans, I don't really have fans, I have friends. And that's you guys, I know. Oh, am I right? But when I say this is my last update video, I mean that. This is the last time I'm going to be making one of these I hope, because the reality is that my update videos tend to be <laughs> more of a form of content than actually me giving you videos when something is needing to be said. So I just want to clarify this. When I say this is my last update video, I mean that I really am going to try to not make these any more going forward. And instead, what I'm going to be doing is very, very simple. I'm just going to make posts on the channel. So if you're not subscribed with notifications, that's your fault. Anyway, I'll probably make one if I really, really need to, or if I go to hospital or something. But the, you know, the fact of the matter is that you guys don't need to hear about every little bloody detail. We just need to understand that content's coming, right? So I'm back again to let you know that uh, by all means, if you do want to know more about me and you do care about that more than just you know content coming out, feel free to ask on streams. I will be going more into that later. We're done. We're done with that part. That's that's a section done. Last update video boys last update video let's make it a good one let's make it a good one let's make it a i am working on them believe it or not even though like you know last couple of days are the only days i've actually been able to edit and actually do work but videos are actually on the way believe it or not okay for some reason i didn't clarify this really quickly just at the start of the video i, I don't really know why apparently my uh my brain is that of a toddler uh basically the issue that uh videos take so long to get done is because i have attention dysfunction disorder i go way further into that in the at the end of the video however i thought i'd just mention that here so you guys have a quick answer of why a video is taking so long and I actually explain so much, I explain too much. Too much. If you haven't noticed, for some reason at all, this current channel is now a long form channel. That might suck to hear. But basically what this channel is going to be is hour to two hour long videos, which have 20 or 50 hours of footage, who knows, how many hours, whatever the video's encumbrances takes. And I'm going to use that and just make videos that are hours and hours long. I like long form content and I like making long form content. It takes a lot of work though. E.g. it means I can actually just focus on the channel and make the uploads more sporadic. Now, I don't like the idea of sporadic videos. I would just rather commit to one monthly video if I could be completely honest, like an hour to two hour long video every month. But if I'm being completely realistic with you, that's not possible for me in my current state. But what I can commit to is actual videos coming out sporadically long form content on this channel. I have a bunch of ideas as well, don't get me wrong. So maybe some of them won't be as sporadic. Like for instance, those Skyrim videos did well. 
So I'm thinking of redoing them in a certain degree. I still want to do the role play series. I've got loads of stuff that I actually want to do. I want to get a whiteboard. I'm going to get a 200 dollars whiteboard and put it over there. It's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to, I'm going to love it. I'm going to write down everything. I'm going to write down every little detail. I'm going to hate myself. <laughs> Because I'm going, to be, I'm going to come out here every day and I'm going to look over there and be like, man, I've got so much to do and I can't do any of it. I hate having ADD. I really do. But it also makes me really creative and funny and like this. And I think that's why people like me, which is a sad reality. <laughs> we'll move on to the puzzle stuff in a bit. So I want to clarify some of the some of those videos are going to take time and some will 100% take more time than others. The current video that I'm working on uh, is a can you beat video for Fallout 4. It's very specific. Not many people have done it and it's incredibly niche. So I'm enjoying making it. Uh, some people might remember it because I did stream it. If you do remember it, please keep it to yourself because I don't want someone else to come along who can do it faster than me and steal my bloody idea. <laughs> so uh, if you have that, please don't do that. But uh, I'm working on it, I promise you. I could show you screenshots of it, but the reality is, is that I'm just watching through it at the moment and writing down a script. And that takes a majority of the time. The actual like recording of it and editing it together takes like minutes. It's just sitting there in one place, watching a video for 20 hours that makes me want to shoot myself in my own testicles. But you know, I don't do that because we don't do that here. We're about positive mental attitude, not self. You get where I'm going with this. What you need to understand about this channel is you need to subscribe and hit the bell with all notifications. Otherwise, you're not gonna know when a video is coming out because the reality is, is that I hate being on a schedule. It makes me feel like crap. <laughs> it genuinely does. And just doing it like, what, daily? Well, I don't even think I was doing it daily. I think I was doing it weekly and it burned me out like crazy. I have no idea why. It just did. It just does. I need to give myself time to go, huh? It's okay. Uh, well, that's the thing. If it's hard videos to edit, fair enough. If it's videos that take like a little less effort, it's not that bad. Because the reality is, is that when I used to do content on Fallout 76, doing daily content wasn't that hard most of the time. Because the reality is that I can just get up and be like, hey, you know, trying to make a video on this random insignificant thing that at least 500 people are going to care about, video done. Then the, the algorithm does the work. It's not my problem anymore, right? So the thing is, I think I could do it for something like my Yu-Gi-Oh channel, where once a week is probably not that hard because I can just talk about a hobby which I enjoy and just bring up a topic. I could sit there and just talk about how much Konami bends us over the table and just has their way with our money. <laughs> our money specifically, YouTube algorithm, our money. <laughs> Konami does not... Konami doesn't like us very much, but they definitely like our money. I could talk about that for ages. I could talk about Yu-Gi-Oh for ages. I could talk about a lot of things Yu-Gi-Oh related for ages. So I'm thinking on the Yu-Gi-Oh channel, I might try something where I actually create a little bit lower effort content, but I actually create content, you know, just stuff that's actually fun so I can actually just get it out. This channel is like the passion project of like giving it everything. And I've been on this passion project since 2011, 2011? That's a lie. 2021, when I was 22, 21 to 22, that's, it's been a while. Damn, that's crazy. And then also, you know, I'm thinking about running the Jet Writer channel as well, just creating reaction content. Enough said. I don't know what I'll react to because the reality is that I'll have to work that out. But I feel like opinion-based content uh, has a chance to blow up. So why not, right? Just stuff where I sit here, I'd be like this, be a bloody idiot. And I just say stupid stuff and watch videos and comment on them or read Reddit posts while standing up in me bloody living room at my office now and having a great bloody time. Anyway, so that's it to do with the channel. I don't think I have anything else to say. Videos are coming. I'm currently on a video. It's like maybe 10 to 20% done. I'm going to put it in that regard for this channel. Get subscribed if you're not. Enough said. Get to the, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, go subscribe to the Yu-Gi-Oh channel because I do want to make more content for there. If you want to watch more stuff that has me being me like this, hey, it's me, Jet. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, then you're going to go to the Jet Right Side channel because that is me. That's my name. Ha ha. Where are the YouTube streams? They're just coming. Literally, they're coming. Um... I invested in a roadcaster, and said roadcaster is a mild pain in the ass to set up. But the reason you need the roadcaster is so I can connect it to my editing PC, and my editing PC can stream out the data to the interweb so you guys can watch it, mate. And then I can sit here and just have no lag, no issues on my main computer. Now, to be honest with you, that was a complete overestimate about what I actually need when it comes down to streaming. Because the reality is, based on the games I actually play, I don't actually bloody need that. Because the reality is, I could just run it all off this computer, but I'm not doing that now because I've spent the money and I've committed and I hate myself. Welcome to 2024, guys. It's halfway through the year, but this is a new year of Jet. 
plant an Australian flag, but I believe it or not, I am currently in America. The setup has gone through a few changes because uh, there is a little thing called I don't like walking around my desk to turn my PC on and now it's currently over there. I would give like a setup tour and everything, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Eat my ass. Basic stuff quickly, because I should get this out of the way. I'm healthy. My liver enzymes are a little up, but that genuinely doesn't matter because that could just be because I had COVID. Enough said, right? Uh, it could also be because I eat a lot of fatty food, but you know, genuinely, I'm, I'm looking into that and I'm, I'm chilling my... I mean, I'm... Stop judging me. I am doing better because, you know, I do work out a lot. At the moment, I'm only really getting in the gym about three times a week, but I want to get to get to five. We're going to do that. At the moment, I'm trying to get into a situation of where I'm locking in and I'm getting my life back together. Today, I got up at 6.30. That wasn't even my choice. It was God's choice because guess what? I was wide awake at 6.30 when I fell asleep at 1 a.m. for some reason, and then I just woke up. 6.30, bright and early. My whoop says I have a recovery of 63%. Explain that, atheist. That's 52% sleep and a heart rate variability of 84. That sucks. It should be 100. The point is, is that I'm setting up my sleep schedule, and once that's sort of in place, that means I can have an actual schedule where I just get up, get to work, do some dopamine, dopamine boosting activities, and get stuff done. E.g., I'm working my life out at 25. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm 25 now, guys. I turned 25 recently. None of you wish me a happy birthday, by the way. You know, I'm not, I'm not holding a grudge, but I'm holding a fucking grudge. <laughs> I'm getting to the point in my life where I am now what is considered an actual adult. And that entire thing is terrifying because I'm not an adult. <laughs> I don't have my life sorted out at all. I know I've probably done most, I've uh, done a lot more than what most people have done at their age or even at 25 or even younger because I've now changed countries. I went from Australia and I am living in America. I like making content easy. You know, like I don't really need to think I need to say anything else other than that. Uh, I think this, this style of content where I'm standing up and just talking and just doing that is really fun and entertaining. So I might do more of that on the Jet Right Star channel, which is kind of just sitting there on its own. <laughs> don't ask about that. It was supposed to be edited by someone else, but that someone else doesn't uh, really exist anymore, sad reality. The Jet Right Side channel might just get some reaction content just because I, I enjoy it. And reaction content in and of itself is actually pretty easy to market and pretty easy to make. I could probably piss out those videos real quick if I really wanted to. I'm just gonna slap and slap and slap and slap and just really overwhelm myself with work. That sounds bloody great. <laughs> Uh, I want to quickly say this, this video setup is taking so much BS just to do anything. I had to spend about a good, I don't know, 30 minutes before this video was even recorded. I got up at 6.30 today. It is now 11.36 AM. I have been working on this setup, trying to make it work this entire time. I hate it here. <laughs> I miss my Australian like uh, office where I could just go in my room, click the record button, and then it was good to go. Now I'm in a fucking studio <laughs> and it doesn't work half the time. And it drives me insane. Actually, I kind of like it because I have ADD and apparently that makes me a good problem solver. Yes, I have a fidget spinner. This video setup is actually really, really good. I have two computers, one for editing and one for recording and just playing games. Like this is my personal PC plus my gaming setup. The one over there that you can't see right now, which I guess I could go out of my way to show you, but I'm not going to do that, is the editing PC. And that thing is a chonker, but it does need a G new GPU because the GPU we got for it is horrendously underpowered. But that's fine because we'll be upgrading it as soon as, you know, videos do well and it justifies its existence because uh, I'm a YouTuber with you know, not enough views. Because <laughs> views you've got money and you can't have fun. You just need to make stuff that gets watched. <laughs> uh, where have I been and where are videos? Well, first of all, I'm moving to America, obviously. I think that's kind of like easy to say. So moving to America, going to the gym, going to like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh locals, that kind of thing. So hanging out with boys, that kind of stuff. But where have I actually been been? Here, mostly watching Dexter. I watched through, I haven't even finished Dexter, I don't want to. Not very good in the last season. I, I probably will just for the funs of it. Uh, I watched through solo leveling again and I watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Why? Uh, because I have a little thing that's called ADD, but we'll get into that later. I'm just going to let you know that right now, that's where I've been. I've just been doing that. I've just been unable to work and so I don't know what to sell you. There's a lot more to that. I'm 25 now and I really want to get my stuff sorted. I want to get to the point where in five years time, when I'm 30, I can look back and be like, damn, I actually got my together because so far I just haven't. And um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I want to get my stuff together. Enough said really basically i'm 25 now and i'd like to lock in and that's as simple as it gets i'd like to actually get my crap together and uh do this whole youtube thing 
probably do the best of my abilities. I'm not going to go to my schedule. That part doesn't matter. You guys don't care about my schedule. You guys just care about the content or like why the heck I can't make content. So back to the important one, the, the kicker in the room. Lastly, ADD and me, what's up with me? So you understand what's going on the channel now and now you need to understand the, the backbone of the channel, me. What's wrong with me? Why why am I like this? What, who, who hurt me? What's going on? Why am I not uploading videos? Why am I not editing videos? Okay, a few things you can understand about me. I have attention dysfunction disorder or attention dysfunction hyperactive disorder, depending on what country you're from. One of those is correct. One of those is just wrong. <laughs> People with ADHD aren't just aren't all hyperactive. I know I'm hyperactive right now, but believe it or not, that's because I'm standing up and that's literally about it. And I'm in front of a camera and having a good time. As soon as you get me out of that situation, I'm the opposite. This hyperactivity goes right in here and I can't do shit because it's like, there's like a monkey dancing on my brain and it doesn't function. <laughs> I have ADD. Not ADHD, because I'm not hyperactive, believe it or not. Sometimes it comes out as hyperactive, but that's just me being happy. Believe it or not, when I'm happy, I'm hyperactive and it comes out. It's as simple as it gets. Otherwise, um, I'm normally pretty reserved and you can see me just sitting there and it's, it's all happening inside my head. Number one, I'm trying to work out which type of ADD I have, because there are exactly seven different types. There's classic ADD. That one's pretty easy to treat. I don't think I have that one. There's an attentive ADD. I don't think I have that one either because it's not that I only don't pay attention or only do pay attention, which is the next one. Overfocused ADD, which is like, those people are so productive, it's crazy. They literally can't do anything but like be productive. I wish I was that person. I'm not. That's like David Goggins level. He's just constantly going, he doesn't stop. That's the kind of ADD he has. Uh, temporal lobe ADD, that's not mine. That's probably Muds, to be honest. And then you have limbic ADD and my favorite one, ring of fire, oh, ring of fire. The ring of fire ADD, which is also known as ADD plus and there's also anxious ADD, but no one cares about that one. That was not fun. That was not a cool one to have. That's just like, that just sucks. <laughs> so I personally think based on the symptoms that have been provided and based on my own experiences that I'd rather have ring of fire or limbic ADD. I'm not going to go into why because I'm not going to self-diagnose myself. I'm just simply going to get a brain scan ASAP and that will tell me which one I have. Now, I'm going to put up a, a brain scan here and that brain scan is going to have uh, basically all the different brain scans for ADD. All you know understand about that is, is that ring of fire is called ring of fire because it makes a ring in your brain and that's what it looks like 24 seven. So basically why it's so bad is it, basically everything's overwhelming and I am kind of one of those people. If someone touches me and just in general, if you touch me, uh, I got overwhelmed 100%. When I was a child, I didn't, my parents, if they're watching this video, hey, mom and dad, love you. My mom and my dad probably remember, heck, even one of my brothers probably remembers the fact that I didn't like hugging that much as a child. I really didn't. I didn't like touching. I didn't like anything. As an adult, I still don't. It, <laughs> When someone else touches me, it feels very uh, like electricity <laughs> in the worst way possible. It's like a shock and I hate it. And that's all I can really say. It does not feel good in the slightest. And that's normally what it feels like. And it's very uncomfortable and I don't like it. So I have gotten used to touching to a certain extent, especially my forearms. If someone touches my forearms or my hands, I don't really feel that anymore. But that's not really, it's not there. It's that I dumbed it down or numbed it out so much that I just got used to it. Touching me on the face also doesn't do anything. You kind of got used to those things when you get touched. It's other areas of my body. So very touch averse, can't do anything about it, right? Which is why Ring of Fire might be what I have. But to be honest with you, I don't think it's Ring of Fire just because I don't shut down that much. Whereas where Limbic comes into it, because another one is paranoia. I am incredibly bloody paranoid. It's insane. I think everyone's trying to stab me in the back. I've always been like that way since I was a child. When I was a child, I used to have nightmares every single night. And then at a random point in my age, when I was trying to sleep, I just thought I heard a zombie outside. And then I couldn't sleep that night because I was so paranoid that there was a zombie outside. Now, kids are scared of random things, but we're not talking about like a six-year-old here. We're talking about a 13-year-old who understands the difference between reality and not. So I don't really get what the fuck was going on. <laughs> it is what it is. What I am simply saying is <laughs> I have a lot of issues. And the thing I need to understand is what type of ADD I have, because different types of ADD get treated in different ways. Certain strategies work for certain types of ADD, certain strategies don't. Certain medications work for certain type of ADD, certain don't. Now, 
why is ADD a big deal? And why the heck do you care about what I'm even saying right now? Because uh, by all means, ADD doesn't even matter. It's like we're talking about two different things. We're talking about me getting work done and ADD. Now, the thing you need to understand is ADD doesn't just affect attention and how much attention you can give to something or watch something, so on and so forth. A lot of people think they have ADD, but what they've really just done to themselves is just watch TikTok all day. And believe it or not, yes, that will give you symptoms, one of these symptoms of ADD, but you will still function perfectly fine. All that's doing to your brain is just numbing you out and making you a zombie. People with ADD, like myself, I sit down to work, right? And let's say this task is kind of difficult. My brain has already put a level of dopamine that it costs to do that. When you do that, it does the same thing. Unironically, if you're neurotypical, it'll do the exact same thing. The difference is you have a lot of that and it manages it really, really well. When you start doing that task, it gives you dopamine back. Crazy. My brain doesn't do that. When I do a task, I don't get dopamine. Probably like a little bit, tiny amount, if anything. And it doesn't give me back the same amount of rewards and pleasure that you would get from completing work. I like completing work because of the person I am. I try to be as disciplined as I can because as soon as that discipline shifts, everything falls apart. But when I'm doing work, I just get more and more drained and annoyed. That's all that happens because I'm forcing myself to do something and I'm not getting any reward back. So whenever I do anything, say I got to do the dishes, right? I don't want to do that, <laughs> but I know I have to, right? So my brain goes, hey, you got to do the dishes. And so it'll go, I need this much dopamine to do it. But your dopamine is down here. So now if I want to do that, it's like, you have to physically fight against your own body to get something done. Fight against your own head to get things done. It's just how it is sometimes. Now, there are strategies to work around that. You can challenge yourself, you can change it, you can do a bunch of different stuff. And I'm not going to go in. Because we're wired like that, we are constantly seeking stimulation because we want dopamine. We want so many different things. When our brain is being stimulated, we feel good. When we're going at hyper speed, when we're going as fast as we can, we feel good. So that's why, you know, 20 second clips, 20 second videos and TikToks, YouTube shorts are so good. That's why getting, to be fair, I don't even like them that much, but they work for a certain extent. It's just content I don't have to like constantly think about. It's just there and constantly there, right? You just scroll and scroll and scroll and it's there forever. That's why I like hour and hour long videos or hours of long videos because I can just hit play and then it plays and I don't have to think about it, which is really, really nice. Having to search for videos really sucks. After a while, that becomes something I can't do because <laughs> it's too much dopamine. But, 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 but Dopamine and ADD. Why does it suck? Well, well, it just does. There is a lot to ADD that needs to be understood and isn't understood to this day. We don't even know if this is a disability or just a different kind of way of living. Like we really don't. That's, that's humanity at its current place, if that makes sense. They don't really understand if it's dopamine that's the issue or if we run on something else or if like we're just not designed to do this kind of work. But the thing is that we can do it. And normally when we start doing it and we get really focused, we do it better than regular people because we're incredibly efficient and over-focused. So it's, it's this weird where you're rather not focused enough or too focused. And when you're too focused, you burn yourself out like crazy and they can't do it the next day. So you got to work with like all these different things to get it done. I don't know if I explained it to you really well. I mean, I can, I can sort of explain it like this. For me, me going and sitting on the computer and doing work. Simple, right? If I, if my, if I, my dopamine levels aren't there, if my brain doesn't want to do it, simple as it gets, right? It sees it as a big task that I don't have the dopamine for. For me to sit there and do the task, the feeling in my brain is the exact same feeling as when you say, you see a fire in front of you, right? Or you have a knife in your hand. It's the same feeling you'll get when you go to touch that fire or put the knife across your hand. You get my point. I'm not going to describe it in detail because YouTube. But it's the exact same feeling. Your brain just goes, hey, no, stop doing that. And then you just physically cannot. That's the best way to describe it. It's not really your choice. You have to work around that feeling to get there. You have to go against your own instinct and nature to get things done. But heck, I mean, if people can touch fire just by doing it quickly, so can people with ADD, right? So we can just, if I start and I don't think about it and I think of a different way of doing it, I can get it done. It's just getting past that. Some days are easier than others and some days I just bloody sit and stare for the entire day because I just can't do anything. And it's just, 
you know, that right there is the most depressing thing you could ever think of. I have the most biggest opportunity to do the thing that I love for the rest of my life. And some days I just can't do it. And that to me, and maybe to some of you people, like some of you people, what do you mean you people? Maybe to some of you, that probably seems so like minor in comparison. I mean, I have everything that I need and everything that I need to worry about is sorted. Yet this one thing that I actually care about, because I don't care about much at all, really. Most things just go over my head. And most things I don't really feel inside because again, that that's an ADD thing too. I don't know what I'm feeling most of the time. But when I'm sitting there in bed, and I just can't do anything today or I did nothing today. I hate it. I'm angry. You know? And the thing is, you want know to what's worse about that? Because my brain is constantly searching for stimulation, my brain will go, hey, depression's stimulating us. This sadness, this crying stuff, yeah, yeah, give me all that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does that, and it goes, nah, we want this. So then, my brain will go through a loop of not doing anything because my brain knows by not doing anything, it gets stimulation. So now I'm in this place where I need to be positive all the time. Otherwise, I won't get anything done, <laughs> which is fine. I think going through, you know, sad parts in your life is, is, is normal. I think that I'm 25 now and I should be able to maintain three to four hours to even eight hours of work a day, but I can't. So, you know, I have a disability. I need to accept that. So instead, I'm going to work as much as I physically can. And that's as simple as it gets. And I hope that that makes sense. Now, you might be saying, Jet, why don't you just go on Adderall, go on a drug, you know, sort yourself out. And the thing is, this is why I'm going through the whole situation of getting a brain scan. That's why I'm going through, through the whole situation of getting to a psychiatrist. That's why I'm going through everything because I don't want to go into medication if I don't have to. If I don't have to go on medication, I won't. Because medications have so many different side effects. And if I just jumped in and took Adderall, right? Let's say the one in 100 chance, it works. What now? I still have the side effects, so that's fine. But now everything's great. I rely on medication for the rest of my life. Cool. But let's say it doesn't. Let's say I just get the side effects and it makes me worse. Now I can't work at all. It hits the wrong part of my brain entirely. That is not what I want. I don't want to be sitting here putting different medications into my body, changing myself up, changing my chemical makeup, making myself, you know, borderline, like, yeah, what's the word? Um, Self-ending just to, just to have a, a function of that. When in reality, all I need to do is go the long way, do it the right way, get my brain scanned, do all this different stuff. And then I know what will actually help. And the way you know if a medication will work is the strategies work first. And then if the strategies are working, I probably don't need the medication. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm very scared of medication after overdosing on caffeine and I want to be very careful with my body. I mean, heck, I work out as much as I can. I eat as good as I can. If that doesn't tell you that I care about my body now, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I reached 25. <laughs> Three whole years of giving a crap about my body after 21 of destroying it. <laughs> it's okay. We've gone up from here. I'm technically aging now. That is... I'm old, man. I'm old. <laughs> I'm aging now. That's so weird. Like my cells are dying faster than they're reproducing. That's crazy. I'm not ready for that. You know, like I'm really not. I don't even think I have any of this worked out. And the truth is that I don't. I thought I had it all worked out years ago, but I don't. I never did. Every single step I take in life, it just seems that it just wants to throw me more curveballs, which I'm okay with. It's life. But it would be nice if I could finally, for once in my life, get my shit together. So, for medications, I don't want to be going through a trial this, trial that. I don't want that. It's not, I'm not doing that. I just don't want it. I'm going to do it the right way. Because the reality is that I don't want to go through a bunch of just awful feelings all the time or feeling like crap or putting my body through hell. But this is the journey that will lead me to more videos coming out. <laughs> as long as I can make content for the channel, then I'll be happy. For me, I want to reach a point that I can do that more often. As simple as it gets. Now, what can I do right now? I think a lot of people probably answered that. And how can you help me? Um, if you want to subscribe to the, you know, the, the members, you can do that. I probably need to do more for that. Um, if you would like to subscribe to the Patreon, you are more than welcome to do that. That obviously helps. 
Um, but that's about it. Other than that, your support in the comments and telling me that you care is probably more than anyone could ever do for me because knowing that people care is probably, probably the biggest stuff. You can also like the videos and stuff like that. But for the most part, just giving me time to sort my shit out would be really nice. Because I know like some people, I think I lost like 20 subscribers recently, but to be honest with you, they probably only subscribed recently because like the Call of Duty stuff and I stopped making content on it. So I don't know how it works. But if you are recently subscribed to the channel and you're thinking of unsubscribing because I'm not uploading, just hopefully understand that I'm just in a place where I need to take time. I know that's not how the, the, the game works, but if you can have a heart for a you know young Australian man who's trying to make it, um, just give me give me some time. Sort my shit out. That's all I really want. I think that's it. I think that's everything. The, the ADD section is probably going to be like ages long. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. The, this video might be hella long as hell. But basically, all I'm saying is um, I'm going through it. And I have a disability, but I will be on the other end. Simple as it gets. Content's coming. This is a long form channel. Jet right side is when I'm going to do my react stuff if I want to. It really heavily depends. Like right now, before this, I was like, yeah, I'm down for it. My dopamine levels dropped. Now I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it 100%. I'm going to work on the Yu-Gi-Oh channel too. That content is so simple. React content is so piss easy. Don't even tell me it ain't because it is. So I can do that. I can do so much content that's like super easy. So don't even get me that. It's that doing that stuff whilst also working. <laughs> Whilst also working on uh, the long form stuff. And I think it's 100% doable. I just need to accept that like things are going to take time. And finding reaction stuff is a pain in the ass. If you want to be my reaction channel manager and just give me re stuff to react to every couple of days, you are more than welcome. Chillin'. Uh, I have nothing really else to say. This is my last update video. I really appreciate if you watched this entire thing and learned about me. Um, I don't really know what else to say. My name is Jet. I continue. I'm going to make more content. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to get my shit together. This is my pledge to myself years from now. I am currently 25. When I am 35, 10 years from now, I will have my shit together. Can confirm it's been about three, four-ish days now. I think it's the fourth day that I've gotten up at 6.30 and I have been able to do stuff. So consider my stuff together. I am also trying to swear less, you know, be a bit of Christian, all that kind of stuff. So be aware in the future that, uh, you know, <laughs> Jet's changing in better ways, in good ways, becoming a better person, becoming a lot of what's good. Because uh, I'm, probably a lot of people think that I'm pretty great, but I'm actually, uh, before I was, you know, more into this stuff, I was pretty bad. So I'll leave it to past Jet to say the goodbyes. But I love you all. Enough said. Thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy whatever this was. My last update video, ADD and me. <laughs> but I appreciate you all so very much. And this isn't the last time, but this is our time. I just want to say, I love you all. And I'll see you on the next one.